Welcome back to my channel, Math and Language, and we're going to tackle standard deviation and variance for ungrouped data. So let's start with the introduction. Standard deviation. The most commonly used measure of variation, it indicates that how closely daw yung mga values of a given data set are clustered around the mean. So next, ito yung formulas na gagamitin natin. For variance, yung sigma square is equal to the summation of the square of the difference between yung score minus mo sa population mean. Tapos sa denominator naman, that will be the population size. For the standard deviation, kunin mo lang yung square root ng variance. Again, take note, this one is for population. So, Population size tayo dito, dito sample lang. Okay, so let's have the first example. The exam scores of the five Gryffindor students were 80, 88, 92, 90, and 85. Determine the variance and standard deviation. Okay, now, ang first set natin dito is find the mean. Okay? So, ang mean is just like finding the average lang. So, for this one, you will just add the five numbers. 88 plus 80 plus 92 plus 90 and plus 85. And divide mo siya sa 5. So, the answer will be 435 over 5 by 87. So, ang population mean natin dito ay 87. Okay. Next one, we need to subtract the mean from each individual score. Okay, so for this one, ang population mean natin ay 87. So 88 minus mo siya ng 87, tapos 80 minus 87, and so on. Okay, mauna mo muna yung score, tapos minus mo siya dun sa population mean. So ito yung answer. So, 1, yung una, next is negative 7, 5, 3, and negative 2. Ngayon, step 3, we need to square each of the difference. So, ang square na 1 ay 1, negative 7, pag in-square mo, that will be 49. At ang 5, pag in-square mo, that will be 25. Ang 3, kapag in-square mo siya, that will be 9. At ang negative 2, pag in-square mo, that will be 4. Okay? Next step natin dito ay, we need to get the sum of those numbers. Okay? So, i-add natin sila, that will be 1 plus 1 ang 49, plus 1 ang 25, plus 1 ng 9, plus n, plus 1 ng 4, the sum will be 88. Okay, next one. We need to divide the sum by b by n, or the population size. So, ang population size natin dito ay 5. Okay, so 88, divide mo ng 5, that will be 17.6. And that's already the variance, okay? Now, paano po kumpitin yung standard deviation? Pukunin mo lang yung square root niya. Pukunin mo lang yung square root ng variance. So, the square root ng 17.6 ay 4.2. Let's move to example number 2. The scores of the four houses are recorded as follows. 50, 60, 61, and 57. Determine the variance and the standard deviation. Okay. So, step one, find the mean. So, ang mean natin dito ay 57. Add mo lang yung four numbers. 50 plus 60 plus 61 plus 57. 228 yung sagot. Divide mo ng four. Kung kukuha mong sagot na dito ay 57. So, that's the mean. Ngayon, Step 2, subtract the mean from each individual score. So that will be 50 minus 1 out 57. Okay, so that will be negative 7. 
Tapos na tayo 3. Next is 4. Add ang last is 0. Step 3, you have to square each of the difference. So, square mo lang yung second column. Negative 7, square mo yan. That will be 49. So, na tayo 9. 16 add 0. Step 4, you have to get the sum. Okay, so 49 plus mo ng 9. At papas ka ng 16, that will be 74. Ngayon, para magkong may variance, you have to divide it with the population size. Population size natin dito ay 4. So, 74 divided by 4 ay 18.5. That's the variance. Now, paano naman makuha yung standard deviation? So, standard deviation natin dito, kunin mo na square root ng 18.5. That will be around 4.30. And that's the end of the lesson on how to get the standard deviation and variance for ungrouped data. And if you would like to comment or suggest another math and language video, please comment down below. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe and also click the bell notification para pili kayo sa bagong videos ng math and language. I'll see you again. Goodbye.